Hey there, my Irishman. This is Sean of Nintendo, and welcome to the next episode of Let's Interview, the episode number that I forgot to check in this series where we interview various Let's Players so you guys can get to know them and he or she can get a little bit more publicity. So, who do we have today? Hey there, guys. It's Mario Sinner here, and welcome to Let's Interview. With Yay. Mario Sinner. Yay! How are you doing today? <laughs> good, you? I'm pretty good. It's pretty late over here, so. If I'm a bit tired, guys, I, I do apologize, but we're going to try to do this to the best of our extent. So, we're going to start off with the first question. Let's tell everyone a little bit about your channel. Alrighty, so basically, I've had my channel since like 2006. Started off as a YouTube channel for my website, MarioManor.com, but eventually I just gave up on the website because it's taking too much of my time. So, I just found NCS's Let's Plays and I thought it was pretty cool. So, I started Let's Play myself and I'm having a blast with it. That's awesome. So how did you come up with your name, Mario Center? Uh, it was the name of my forums that I used to run. It was like some pop, kind of popular forums. I've run them for like two years. What happened to those forums? Uh, they just closed down because eventually there's like this one dude who a hacker and he apparently hacked it and that closed oh. it down. Oh, that sucks. Yep. <laughs> I would have liked to see a Mario form. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. It was you a bunch of people. You should try to bring it back. You should try to bring it back. That would be awesome. That's yeah, fun. but I think like forums are really obsolete nowadays because of Skype and stuff. Really. I suppose. Well, there is Silver Suits. That's Terraform. That has been pretty handy. Uh, I've never seen that. I will link you to that check later. It out. <laughs> okay, so who made your channel background? Me. All <laughs> you. I always make my own backgrounds. Well, I didn't in the beginning. Um, I learned how to make them through like uh, YouTube videos and stuff. It's yeah. pretty cool. That's cool. So, who inspired you to start LPing? If anyone did. Mm, you probably already know that, but. Um, in CS. Uh, basically, yeah, in CS <laughs> and. Well, NCS for the Nintendo LPs, but my Kingdom Hearts LPs actually was inspired by a Let's Player named uh, Bloody Biscuits. I don't know if anybody knows about who he is or anything. He was on Nimbus at one point. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I do remember uh, on your old channel you had NCS Co-Com on one of your Majora's Mask LPs. How did you manage to get him as a co-commentator on that? Uh, I just PM'd him. We talked on Skype, and I just asked him to co-com me. And we did. <laughs> it was fun. That's one of my favorite uh, parts that I've ever done. It's so fun. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So, uh, was this your very first YouTube channel? Uh, yeah. Yeah, actually it was. <laughs> it was made back in 2006, like I said. Um, back then, though, I didn't do any kind of LPing. Actually, I didn't even start LPing until 2011. So, mm -hmm. yeah. That's pretty cool. So whenever you're using your other channels box on your channel, would you primarily reserve it for friends, channels you enjoy, or a mix of both? I use my box for friends and people that I just affiliate with, or however you want to say that word. Affiliate, affiliate I think it is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's cool. So what was the very first game you ever played? The very first? I think it was either Super Mario Brothers 1 or 2. Because like I said in my Mario Brothers LP, my dad was actually playing Super Mario Brothers 1 when my mom was pregnant with me and ready to have me. Oh wow. She was like, my water broke! My water broke! <laughs> and he's like, one more level! He's like, <laughs> he's like, I got so many lives, I don't want to turn it off now. <laughs> it's well, so funny. That's fantastic. Oh my god. I don't, yeah. I, don't I, remember, I don't know what my parents were doing. Hmm. I think my that's uncle crazy. was probably playing his... NES because that's he's the person who got me into gaming so <laughs> but uh what was the worst game you ever played oh god I'd have to say Snake King for the Xbox it came out from uh, Burger King <laughs> <laughs> if anybody remembers that Burger King actually came out with like three Burger King games for the Xbox so basically you're the Burger King and you go around sneaking up to people and giving them whoppers <laughs> I have to LP that someday. It's just so crazy. That sounds pretty cool. I can't cool. even believe it. <laughs> so, um, who are some of your favorite LPers? 
Uh, Sean of Nintendo, of course. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, let's say, NCS, of course, uh, mm, Lady Lenadra, uh, Nufi Bonga, and, mm, Dark Minded Sith. Be cool. Are there any people who aren't Let's Players that you would enjoy? Mm, yeah. Actually, I wish that my cousin was a Let's Player. I tried to get her into it, but she just won't do it because she's, like, really shy and stuff. She don't think she'd be any good at it. I've also tried to get my brother into it, but he would basically play, like, Xbox 360 games and crap, so... <laughs> well. That's cool. Uh, so what's your favorite Let's Play that you've done so far? Oh, man. Let's see. I've done, I think, 14 so far completed. Ooh. So, uh... It's kind of hard to say, but I'd have to say probably Kingdom Hearts 2 would be my favorite because uh, there's like so much nostalgia in there and everything with the Disney and Final Fantasy, mm -hmm. and it's my most popular one too. Did you it's actually... surprising because it's really popular to LP, you know? Mm -hmm. Did you actually get the Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance game? Oh yeah, I've gotten it, but. I actually still haven't even beaten it. I just can't get into it because of that stupid time limit thing, the drop. And it's, it's like I was in the middle of a boss fight, and then the timer goes off, and it's like, too bad, you gotta play this sword instead of Riku now. And it just stops you in the middle of the boss fight. It's, it's crazy. It's like, bye, boss. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, so is there any uh, regret you might have with any of your past LPs? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. The Donkey Kong Country LP was my first live commentary LP. Just a little information bit there. Not many people know that. Um, well, I guess there will be now, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because you can never, you're never going to believe this, but my first headset was a ghetto headset. I made it out of a clothes hanger. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not kidding either. I wrapped the clothes hanger around my ears and around my head. And I tied the little microphone on the end. And that was my headset. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, and, and um, I didn't really know how to live commentate yet. So I just basically, every time I die, I get upset and like yell a cuss word or something. I get really pissed off with it. It was just frustrating. <laughs> Eventually, I got used to a lot of commentary. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. I tried doing post-commentary once before, I think. It's just, you don't get kind of quite get into the swing of things because you've seen it all happen before. Yeah, I love, like live commentary a lot better now. Mm -hmm. So, Nowadays, um, yeah. what's your recording setup like, and what kind of equipment do you use? Oh, God. After hearing that headphone story, you want to hear this? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I have to use my Blue Snowball on my desktop because it only works on XP with me for some reason, like I said earlier. Mm -hmm. And I have to stretch my microphone all the way across the room to my laptop because <laughs> my laptop's the only one that can record with fraps for some reason. Oh, so <laughs> I have to like put them together and you know, mash it together. And yeah, I do it individually like that. And edit it together on Camtasia. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, so, what's your opinion on the LP community as it stands today? Um, I don't know. It's changed a lot over the years. Uh, I didn't really discover it until 2011, like I said. So, I don't really know too much about how it used to be. But as it was in 2011, is about the same that it is now. It started changing in 2011, I think, when everybody started getting partnerships and stuff. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, that kind of sucks because that makes LPing to a lot of people just about the money and stuff like that. So it, it, that's what really changed it, in my opinion, is everybody getting partnering and getting paid to LP. Mm -hmm. They're kind of really handing out the partnership a little bit too easily now, aren't they? Right. It's like after I got partnership on my uh, other channel that I hated to move to, <laughs> that's my, my most regretted thing, and I feel so so, like such an idiot but um yeah it feels like right after I got partnered uh everybody started getting partnered like around that time it was really weird too it's like full screen came around to Yaosh and all of them you know mm -hmm. 
I get what you mean. Well, anyways, um, oh, sorry about that. I had a little bit <coughs> cough there. <laughs> um, <laughs> before we wrap up this video, so guys, we're coming near to the end of this. Uh, is there any advice you'd like to give to other LPers out there? Mm, yeah, I'll see. Basically, something that I just learned a few minutes ago was that don't try to go with what's popular now in your commentary. Just be yourself. Even if you think you're boring, you know, you might be criticizing yourself a little too much because other people might think that you're entertaining, you know? You might just be, I don't know, criticizing yourself a little too much because... That's what I did, and I feel like really bad because I feel like I have to be funny in my videos, but in real life, I'm not really that funny in my opinion. I mean, a lot of people say I am, but I don't think so. Mm. I don't know, maybe I'm just a little too hard on myself. But yeah. yeah, that's my advice. Don't be too hard on yourself, and just be yourself in your videos. So, yeah. Good advice. Okay, so our second last question here, and this has nothing to do with LPing, but what's your favorite Pokemon? <laughs> Mudkips. <laughs> I like Mudkips. <laughs> no, not really. It's uh, Gengar. I love Gengar. He's awesome. Mm -hmm. And Haunter. Haunter is awesome too. I kind of like the way Haunter looks. It's kind of like disembodied hands. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get you. <laughs> he's purple. He's just fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And that's another thing right there. It's like, because I'm like... One of the only gay L peers out there, by the way. Just saying that. No, I just it's really be weird of. because uh, I know, but it feels like there's should be a lot more gay L peers out there, but they're kind of afraid to say that they are. Because I got a feeling that I know of a few that might be, you know. I but you uh, I'm not gonna mention any names. Well, I guess so it kind of sucks. But yeah, I guess kind of how people are so received. homophobic. Yeah, well. it sucks. But oh well. I'm interrupting you and I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. Um, for actually, no, this is the second last question. I apologize. Uh, is there any question you would have liked me to ask you during this interview that I could maybe add into other interview videos? Uh, let's see. Probably that thing I just mentioned. <laughs> yeah. The gay uh, Pierce? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's, that would be it. Okay. But I already mentioned it. <laughs> Okay, cool. And for the final question, and uh, this is personal feedback for me, how'd you like this interview? It's awesome. Sean Nintendo rocks. <laughs> Y'all need to subscribe to him, yo. <laughs> well, thank you, man. Okay, guys, uh, as we wrap up this video here, thank you, Mario Center, for joining us. Thank you for the interview. No problem. If you guys want to go check out Mario Center's channel and his Twitter link to both of those in the description box of this video and links to every other thing you need in the description box of this video, annotations on the screen, all that good stuff. So thank you all for watching again this video and we will see you in the next video. So bye for now. Bye bye.